is going on guys, Eli or the Craft King here, and today I will be going over the plugin Auto Pickup. And basically the idea of this plugin is it will automatically do some stuff for you, um, like put some blocks into your items when you um, mine them. So if I go ahead and get into survival and get a pickaxe and some iron ore, uh, and go ahead and mine it and stay away, boom, it's instantly in my inventory. And a, there's a couple of options that I go over, like where it automatically smelted it like that. I will go over that. Um, and yeah, that's pretty much it. So when you mine uh, some of that automatically, and then boom, 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 test this one out, boom, and as you can see, it's working. So uh, yeah, so let's go into some of the commands and to reload the config file, it's slash auto pickup. I can type, <laughs> and that will reload the configs. Um, and then you can toggle whether items actually are automatically picked up. So. If I go ahead and get some iron ore and type slash auto pick up toggle. Um, so that command is obviously having some errors. Uh, maybe it could be the version of the server I'm using, but yeah, you would toggle whether items automatically go into your inventory with this command. Um, and like I showed earlier, with the auto smelt, if you type just slash auto smelt, um, it's also having problems, but this should work for you. This will toggle whether. Um, Blocks are automatically smelted uh, when they go into your inventory, like gold and iron and that sort of thing. Okay, guys, so the last command is slash auto block. And what this should do is if you have, um, uh, let's see, so if I go into creative and get a pickaxe, and not a pickaxe, there we go, or uh, yeah, pickaxe, and then get some iron ore. And I go, oops, go ahead and get enough. So it'll be a block. So it's gonna automatically smelt it, and right now I turned the um, auto pickup off. So if I turn slash auto pickup and oops slash auto pickup toggle, there we go. And um, I don't know why it says it's getting an error, but it is actually toggling that. So yep. And as you can see, the auto block will automatically turn all the blocks into ores as soon as you get enough for a block to spawn. And I'm pretty sure if you, um, yeah, you can turn them back into ingots and they won't uh, do that. Um, and yeah, so let's go ahead and, and get into some of the files. And the first one is the config. And the drop on full inventory says, uh, means that if you have a full inventory, uh, it's going to drop on the ground. I'm not sure what would happen if you did have a full inventory and this was set to false. Um, so fortune all, what that does means is you can, if you have a fortune item and you, you can use it on any block. Um, and yeah, so there's a couple more files, um, some item whitelists, um, and on what this will work on for everything. And moving on to the next file is the messages and then permissions. So the messages pretty much change, you can change every single thing, um, that it says, uh, sends players messages. And then the last file is the permissions where you would change, um, all of the permissions, which is actually a really cool idea. So, yeah. Thank you guys for watching this plugin tutorial. I will see you guys in the next plugin tutorial. Go ahead and download the plugin in the description, or if you're on the page, go ahead and click that, because this is an awesome plugin for a small survival server. And I will see you guys in the next episode. Don't forget to click that subscribe button on the screen now. I will see you later. Peace.